All right, this is how to program a MMU2 EDI. Now we're gonna go from the main screen. We're gonna hit next, select. We're gonna go into set, view config. And we're gonna arrow down here. We'll go assume this was tested as a full-fledged flashing yellow arrow or we don't know what's in here. So we're going to set that set factory default, select, we'll go down here. I always do this to wipe out the flashing yellow arrow parameters that may have been programmed in there. Say it was running, so we got to go back through here. Alright, so this is going to wipe out the parameters for flashing yellow. Select. Alright, now we're on flashing yellow arrow already, so we're just going to hit select again. We're going to go to mode B. Select. Now, we're running just channel 1, phase 13. If we were running any of the other left turns, then you would turn these on. So we're just going to hit on there. Because if I go to the next one, you'll see they all turn on like that. Okay. Since we're not using those, we'll just turn those off. Hit exit, and then select. We don't want to turn any of these on. So we'll hit exit, and then we're going to turn both of these on. Select, exit, set. All right, now we're going to go hit exit again, and then we're going to go to setup wizard. And we're going to select the channels that don't have any load switches in them. So in this case, the last three here because we have PEDs. Yep. Yes. So, our PED channels are 9, 10, 11, 12. We hit exit. Select. This is, you would use these if you had five sections, left turns in the intersection. We don't have them in the house here, so. Uh, we're just going to leave this alone, hit exit, select, this is the screen you should have, all looks good, set, and then now I'm going to hit reset, should run just fine, and that's how you program an MU2.